10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> are off the pad and on our way to space once again with successful liftoff from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. Right now Electron is travelling at over 500 kilometres an hour and is passing 3 kilometres in altitude. Very soon Electron will approach max Q or maximum dynamic pressure, that moment when forces are at their greatest on the launch vehicle. Let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has passed that phase. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching Max Q. Cleared Max Q. There's the call out. Electron has successfully passed through Max Q. Propulsion is continuing nominally on the first stage as we approach the next event in Electron's Ascent. Altitude is 30 kilometers, speed is 1.3 kilometers per second. AOS Chatham Station. First up, the nine Rutherford Safer engines will throttle down before shutting off completely, otherwise known as main engine cutoff or MECO. Shortly afterward, we'll see separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by ignition of the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. 15 seconds to go. As you've seen, we've had a successful MECO stage separation and second stage engine ignition. Next, we'll be coming up on fairing separation. This is when the two halves of electrons fairing separate and fall away in preparation for payload deployment. Fairing Shatterson succeeded. And there it is, you saw a flash of it on your screen. The fairing has separated, clearing the way for payload deployment coming up in approximately 50 minutes from now. Meanwhile, stage two is continuing well to orbit, carrying the kick stage and the monolith satellite. Guidance is nominal, altitude is 140 kilometers. We are flying with uh, three kilometers per second. And we are looking at a healthy stage two burn at a few minutes and uh, four minutes and five seconds into the mission at an altitude of about 10,000 plus kilometers and a velocity of over 165. Electron continues nominally. Space is looking beautiful this evening as our 21st Electron launch has successfully left the pad. 
We're in the middle of our stage two burn, taking us to an elliptical orbit, after which the kick stage will separate in preparation for payload deployment. All systems continue to look nominal. So for those of you just joining us on our 21st mission, you will have heard from Mission Control that everything is continuing nominally during our second stage burn. Ahead of kick stage separation is the battery hot swap, coming up in about a minute. On our way to orbit, we are travelling at a speed of over 13,000 kilometres with an altitude of over 200. Now for one of the events of uh, the launch events unique to Electron, the battery jettison. The fuel pumps in Electron's Rutherford engines are powered by batteries. But once those batteries are depleted, it's just added weight that we don't need to carry all the way to orbit. So we swap out the depleted batteries for a fresh new Throttle one to keep Electron's second stage going all the way. We call this maneuver battery hot swap battery and it's jettison. coming up next. Confirmed. And there it goes, you will have just seen it falling away, meaning that battery hot swap has been completed. Around two and a half minutes to go until the kick stage separates, setting us up for payload deployment later in the hour. What we're looking at on your screen there is the glowing hot vacuum optimized nozzle for the Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. It's the same base engine that we use nine of on the first stage to do most of the heavy lifting. But when we're in space, we only need one. The vacuum optimized nozzle extension allows us to match the pressure of the environment, unlocking some 5,800 pounds of thrust. HVB battery discharge holding nominal. Electron's second stage is now approaching SECO, or second engine cutoff. Much like main engine cutoff, the stage two Rutherford will throttle down before the kick stage separates ahead of payload deployment. We are now 8 minutes and 13 seconds into flight and everything is looking great for payload deployment in approximately 45 minutes. Guidance is in terminal, 20 seconds remaining. Stage two shut down. Stage three separation confirmed.